pretty this is. Some mountains in the background. Let me give you a zoomed in view. Come on. Focus. There we go. Focus, you dumb piece of shit. Why will this focus? This should be easy to focus on. There we go. Look at that. That's the, I believe that's the East Mountains there. Look at the, the rain clouds there. You can see them all the way to the ground. God, I love that. Oh, I think I'm really going to like it up here. We're just 15 miles from where we are now. Chris Resto's going home. He's the one who helped me drive 2,200 miles out. So time for him to leave and we'll begin the next phase. So, and you'll see call you in a me when you need me. <laughs> So I drove to the end of this road, which brings us right to the mountains. South Mountain, I think it's called. Can't really see them through the trees. But yeah, that's Edgewood. All the way down there. Pretty cool. I think it's done. I think I now own the house. Um, they just sent the closing package over, and I signed it, I've wired the money, and that should be it, I hope. Um, I just took pictures of the fixtures, and um, so I can get the plumbing fixtures replaced, so I can get water turned on, I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. Electric is not on yet, I was hoping it was, so I'll have to wait till tomorrow for electric. Um, but once I have electric, I can start doing things. So, we shall see. I am hopeful now. More to come. Well, folks, this is it. The final truly dangerous act I have to perform. <laughs> or at least the one with the potential for danger. I got power at the house. Water should be coming on tomorrow, assuming I got all the leaks taken care of. Um, potential leaks. I have to move the bus now to the house. We've driven over the path multiple times. So, in theory, it's flat enough, but I've always got that paranoid fear that I'm going to flip this damn bus on its side. <laughs> that would suck. I mean, get 2,100 miles and turn the thing over in the yard. <laughs> so, here goes. Nothing. We shall see. Maybe I'll record the actual drive into the yard. <laughs> so, if I kill myself, somebody can recover the video. <laughs> well, here I am. I'm at the house. Here comes the dangerous part. I gotta turn in, then I have to drive to the back of the house. I'm pretty sure if I make it to the back of the house, I'm fine. So, here we go. I'm gonna try to use the neighbor's entrance here on the right a little bit. To give me a little bit of swing. So I'm gonna go a little too wide right here. Then I'm going to come back and turn left into the neighbor's portion of the yard. And then here we go. We practiced this a couple of times. It should be flat enough. Please, dear God, do not tip over. Back tires look good. Oh, come on, baby. No one's having trouble climbing. There we go. I'm being hyper, hyper ginger on the throttle. Now here's the biggest portion of tip right here when I transition to this driving path. And it was fine. <laughs> oh. I know it's not much tip, but it feels like a million miles of tip to me. Jesus Christ. Feels like the whole damn thing's gonna roll over.
Okay. Everything's trying to fall over, of course. Here's where I just take it nice and easy, a little bit at a time. Come on, focus. Really wants to keep falling. Come on, focus outside the bus, you dumb, stupid camera. There we go. Okay. Now we gotta go in reverse. This is where the backup camera comes to the rescue. Don't tip, baby. Don't tip. Wish I could show you guys the backup camera, but I'm not gonna mess with the camera while this is working. Well, it looks like I'm gonna make the turn. I actually clear it. Oh my god, I think I actually cleared it. Although I can't back up to the thing like I wanted to. And the bus is pretty level. Holy living shit, I didn't flip the goddamn bus over. <laughs> I'm like shaking. I really thought I was going to flip the damn thing over or do something stupid. But here we are next to the house. The bus is a bit longer than I expected. I was hoping to be able to put it alongside the house there and back it up to the little deck. You can see the deck right there in the mirror, but that's not going to work plus it's long. I need to be able to drive behind here. All right. That's it. I didn't die. The last seriously dangerous thing I had to do. And, of course, I was over paranoid. It was not a problem. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bus park behind the house. The absolutely ridiculously insane, I'm out of my goddamn mind for trying adventure is over. <laughs> I got power here at the house. So that light and fan is working and this outlet's working. I'm getting power. I got most of the plumbing deficiencies taken care of. So I do not have the correct fixture for this yet. So I have plugs in there. So this doesn't leak until I get the right fixture. And then those hoses down there are plugged. Everything else is intact. That, in theory, unless there's something wrong with it, it shouldn't leak. This is a little bit of stuff that Chris was able to help me get out of the pickup truck and trailer. We didn't take anything out of the bus because the bus is at the motel. The door destroyed, but it's too tall anyway. 40 by 82, you liar. <laughs> this is the extra bedroom. The window I had to climb in. All my stuff that was in the trailer and the um, pickup truck. So I can use the pickup truck. This will be Michelle's room. There's her mattress. Hey, that light's on. Better turn that off so I don't blow power. Because these are probably all incandescent bulbs in here. That's going to suck. What are you gonna do? Wish I knew which one of these was the outside light. I don't know what that does. I have no idea what that does. Okay, that's a three-way for this. Okay, so this is fan, this is light. So a separate switch for fan and light. I'm gonna to wanna to replace that with a much, much bigger fan. Get like a you know 70-inch fan if I can, just fill it. So this has to be the outside. I'm guessing one of these is supposed to be that light. <laughs> No, this is probably that light. Yep. So that's for that light right there. One of these has got to be outside light and something else. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Does that work? Stove is not wired up. Because otherwise, this will be on. So this is not hooked up. 
That'll be for the fridge. This is for my room. Nope. Oh, there we go. That works. I have a second switch for my room. Not sure why. That turns on the lights. No idea what that does. Is there even a light in here? Nope, no light, no switch. I'll have to wire it up. All right, anything working here? Hey, those lights work. Uh, second switch. Whoa, shit. Oh. Fan. <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> okay. So, light, fan. <laughs> Damn, that made me jump. So this must be for the kitchen. So either the bulb is out or the circuit's dead. And I want to guess the second switch is for the kitchen. I'm surprised there's no way to turn on the kitchen from this side unless that second switch is for the kitchen. I don't know. Well, we shall see. That's it for now. I will make more recordings later. Here's a local creator, Mike. He watches my channel, and he gave me a washer and dryer. Talk about freaking generous, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Yep. Guys, I want to give my patrons a little update. We have some things fixed. Uh, well, first, we have a fridge. Yes, 220 bucks, and he delivered it. This is actually almost identical to the fridge that I have at home. I had a black one at home. So I like these, except mine didn't have this. An adjustable shelf. I think that is so cool. As y'all know, Mike gave me a washer and dryer. He is absolutely amazing. Um, got the bed frame for the bed. And I got these particular bed frames because they have a high weight rating and they are taller. They have 17 inches of clearance, which means I could put bins underneath here. So storage. Because this place is a lot smaller. As you know, I'm getting rid of the tub. We're not going to replumb that. I got the new fitting for the shower, but I physically cannot connect this to this. My hands can't fit in there. And this one's cracked, you see, that's cracked. But I just found a plumber who thinks he can do this for 12, 1500 bucks, replumb the whole place, including insulation. And he thinks he could do the skirting as well. Got some fans. What's amazing is that for 20 bucks extra, it comes with a remote. I got that little 5,000 BTU air conditioner, 455 watt hours. It's 90 degrees outside, and that is actually cooling this entire house. I mean, it's not cooling it as well as, you know, proper air conditioning would, but I'm comfortable. You know, it might get a little warm around four or five o'clock before the sun starts setting, but a second one of those will definitely do it. I'm going to, this is a 36 by 78, I just measured it, so I am going to attempt to salvage this door. Uh, for now, I'll put wood in there until I can find a piece of glass for it. But um, I'm going to try to cut the door down. I have a jigsaw ordered from um, Walmart, I'm going to go pick up soon. Um, I do need to fix that wall and that window. There's my sister's room. Ha ha ha. Um, this bathroom, I got a shower curtain and whatnot. Toilets work. Um, I got hoses and stuff like that so I can run a hose in through the window. We can fill the toilet and flush it. That thing really needs to be cleaned out. I've already got everything LED bulbs. So everything's nice and bright. Daylight white light. Um, the only thing that leaks in here is that faucet. I got to cut a hole in the wall in her room to get to it. I ordered it. It'll be here today. Um, something annoying. You come in here and you turn this on so you can go down the hallway. And you can't turn it off. There's no switch at the other side. That's kind of annoying. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, got a little table set up with the computer. Bike put together. I got to do some maintenance on it and I'll be able to ride it. For now, I am trickle charging the car here. He is going to wire in, get me a quote to wire in a hot water heater. I already have the wire, so I'm going to have him make me an outlet for my car, too, because I think I'm going to put a little carport back here, and we'll park my electric car in the back. I think I'd like to have it back here, nice and shielded. But for now, trickle charging. I don't have to go very far, so it's not a big deal. I'm so happy to have a refrigerator.
God, I'm happy to have a refrigerator. Uh, temporary for cooking. This thing was shockingly cheap. A 22 inch griddle for 35 bucks at Walmart. I hate Walmart, but hey, you know, they, they do a decent job. Freezers are plugged in, they're staying cold. He's also gonna give me a quote to do the steps. I'll pick up the hoses later today to get these hooked up, even though I have no water for it, although I could probably run a garden hose to it. This is super sketch. Ready for this? Yeah. This is super, super sketchy. This thing wiggles all over the place. And I got robbed last night. I had a solar battery sitting right here charging up and someone stole it. I put it there last night. I get here this morning, nine o'clock in the morning and it's gone. Yeah, someone's gonna eat 12 gauge. Uh, I'm gonna bite somebody. So I can't leave anything outside. Nothing at all. And that's it for now. I got a few more bulbs to change that I can't reach. Um, they're too high up and I need a step stool. So I'm gonna wait until I get the step stool out of the bus. But if he can come through, and if you'll warranty the plumbing and properly insulate it, I got a shot. <laughs> I might be able to get this place stabilized and running. So I'm, I'm thrilled at how well that air conditioner is working. The less you open the doors, the better. Once I get blinds on the windows, so I have less solar radiation coming in, it'll work even better. I think two of those might do it. What I'm thinking about doing is putting one through the wall right here. But you know something? I might just stick one in that window and let the air come in both ways here and then let that one run. And I think that'll be enough to keep this place reasonably comfortable until I can afford a mini split. And then we'll go from there. So that's it. We are now living in the house full time. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. <laughs> More to come later. Well, this is a hell of a difference to Walmart in New Mexico. All alcohol just sitting here on the shelves in Walmart. <laughs> okay. It was supposed to be Connect to Comcast Day, except the Comcast rep called me at 11 o'clock. It was actually um, 9 o'clock here. So I was like, that's early. He's supposed to be between 10 and 12. But it's actually 11 o'clock because I canceled my service in Pennsylvania, signed up for my service here in New Mexico, and they sent a tech to Pennsylvania address and reactivated the old account. <laughs> That's some epic level of incompetence right there, especially since it took them an hour to get me to the right department to sign up here. But anyway, today is mini blind day. Um, first, I got a quote. I think it's going to work out to get the plumbing, the steps, and the hot water heater and electric car wired in. So that's going to be good because I had to wire already. But otherwise, we got mini blinds today. So let me show you another view so I can show you what I did.